This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. A little bit of a different video for you today. There is no music or guitar related content today, uh, but I hope you'll still keep watching because if you're a chap of a certain age, then it could just save your life. Uh, as you saw from the title of the video, this is a health update. And um, basically, as many of you know, last year I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. And um, this is essentially a video detailing what um what steps and what the what the journey is that i've been on um you know in order to deal with this um it's a video that i've been reluctant to make to be honest with you because uh well many people use the term living the dream in a sort of sarcastic way you know it's if they've got some awful job that's toil and drudgery and they hate it then you'll often, they'll, they'll often use, you know, living the dream as a, as a sarcastic way of, uh, you know, kind of referring to. It. But for me, it's not sarcasm at all. Um, I'm married to the love of my life and we live in a beautiful part of the world. We're this close to being mortgage free and I get to sit and talk about music and guitars all day long and earn a pretty decent living from it. So, you know, I'm counting me blessings and I just don't want cancer to be, you know, anything that defines who I am or, you know, what I'm going through. It's just, it's just something I'm dealing with. But, uh, one of my wonderful Patreon supporters, a chap called Gordon, got in touch with me to say that if I was to basically detail what's been, what I've been going through, then it may just encourage other chaps to, uh, to come forward and get checked out and hopefully save themselves a lot of grief further down the line. So that is what today's video is. So. Our story begins in late July last year, 2021, when um, I was called in to see the doctor. Uh, as you do as a middle-aged chap, you know, a couple of times a year, they want to have a prod and a poke of you and take some blood and, you know, run some tests and usually tell you that you're overweight and that you're uh, drinking too much. That's usually what happens in my case anyway. Um, and as soon as you get to up, that's been going on for about uh, 10 years or so now. And as soon as you get to the point where your your age begins with a number five, they also start running another test called a PSA test, which stands for prostate specific antigen. And what happens is basically this test produces a number and they need that number to be, there's my phone uh, going off, um, they need that number to be below three. And for me, it was 2.9 on one test and then the next test it's 3.1 and then it's down to 2.8 then it's 3.0 so it's kind of you know hovering around the uh, the upper end of what is uh, desirable anyway last summer the test came back with a number of 4.5 so i was referred straight away to a mr chaplin who is the consultant urologist for this part of the world and um nice chap and um, I went into his office and um, very personable he was and you know he's taking all of my details and asking me how life is and you know if, if I've got any symptoms or anything like that uh, to which the answer was no and uh, which is important actually even if you don't have symptoms go and get yourself checked out um, anyway then he utters the immortal line may I examine your prostate Mr Robson and I sort of had a rough idea of what it was and where it was but by golly, I soon found out. Um, all I can tell you is I now know how Sooty must have felt with uh, Harry Corbett sticking his fingers up the same part of him that Mr. Chaplin stuck his fingers up me. Um, and the thing is, he's making conversation while he's doing it, you know, going anywhere nice on holiday this year, sir. I said, come off it. <laughs> Stop talking like me, barber. This is unlike any haircut I've ever had. Um, and we had a bit of a giggle. Anyway, uh, he, he found, you know, something up there that didn't feel right. So he referred me to, um, for an MRI scan. Uh, essentially that entails you, you know, you, you lay on a bench and that bench slides into a tube and, um, you know, from the, uh, user's experience, what you, what you get is, uh, half an hour's worth of being bombarded with every, uh, 1970s Doctor Who sci-fi sound effect at a million decibels. It's not particularly pleasant, but it's only half an hour and, you know, then it's done with. 
Anyway, the uh, that test revealed that yes, there was something that uh, required further investigation. So uh, off it was for the biopsy. Now this was the the really fun bit. Um, uh, you lay on a bench. Um, most of this stuff involves being laid on a bench. You lay on a bench with your legs up in stirrups, as if you're about to give birth. You're naked as the day you're born, except for one of those paper gowns that um, you know, that the hospital uh, provides you with. Um, so there you go. You're you're all kind of um, legs akimbo, feet up in the air. Um, you know, and uh, in walks this chap, nice bloke, uh, very ch- talkative and chatty. They always seem to want to make conversation. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's um yeah you know. anyway he pulls out this well let's call it an implement um and it's it resembles um a, a, an industrial sized version of what you would probably call euphemistically a personal massager you know the kind of device i mean um and, um, you know, anyway, me, there's me feet up in the air and, um, without putting too fine a point on it, because he didn't, wallop, up it goes. I'm under local anaesthetic at the time. What I didn't realise when he showed me this thing that was going to go where the sun don't shine is that the end of it, it, it kind of opens up like that. It's like the, it's like the, the monster from the alien movies where, you know, the jaws open and it's bitey thing comes out and he was snipping away and pruning and, and what have you and I'm laid on the bench and there's a nurse up at the up at me head end of the bench and um, you know I'm getting a bit of a sweat on after about 20 minutes of this and she says uh, w- would you like me to fluff your pillow Mr Robson I said believe it or not love it's not what what's happening at this end that's making me uncomfortable and again we had a bit of a giggle um, <laughs> you got to haven't you yeah, I won't lie to you, that was probably the most unpleasant part of the process, but it lasts about, what, 20 minutes, half an hour, and then it's done with, and you're a bit sore for, you know, the next 24 hours, you know, but it doesn't kind of intrude on your life, you know, it doesn't mean that you can't get on with your day. After all, this is why your friendly no- local chemist shop will sell you some tablets called Nurofen, and you just kind of get on with stuff, and then it's it's over and done with. Anyway, the, um, the the tests from the biopsy came back, the results came back, and yes, uh, Mr. Robson, you do have, I'm afraid to say, prostate cancer, and uh, we recommend a course of radiotherapy, and um, that led to another meeting with a consultant, this time the oncologist, and Mr. Pidel. And, well, to cut a long story short, this is um, the sort of treatment that you uh, find yourself undergoing under those circumstances. Okay then, I live in a small town called Redcar, which is just here on the northeast coast of England. And despite the fact that Redcar has its own primary care hospital, the treatment I've been having is over here in Middlesbrough. So let's zoom in on Middlesbrough. And when we do that, we should hopefully, just in a moment when it comes into focus... It's taking a moment today. Um, We should hopefully see the James Cook University Hospital, which is where I've been going. You can tell from, um, you know, just this aerial view here, it is one heck of a big place. Um, Let's go into the street view, and I'll just show you a little bit more of the facility. So if I just click into here and go like this, um, this is going into the north entrance of the um, of the facility and we'll just kind of carry on along here uh, a little bit there we go and just around this bend here we will come to I think it's uh, just around about here if we turn there and there we go there is the radiotherapy and oncology department and um, been turning up there every morning uh, to be uh, subjected to um, one of these things this is a linear accelerator machine the very one I was um, on this morning and the idea is that you lay on this bench here um, they put like a headrest and feet rests on there and you know something to support your knees so it's not just a flat table you laid on and um, I now have permanent 
reminders of my uh, encounters with this machine because uh, on the initial scan you get uh, little crosses tattooed on your hips so they line up with the markings that you can see on the side of the bench here they get you all lined up the bench slides back and uh, then this big shower head thing here does a couple of uh, passes over it does like a 360 around you twice once in uh, like a clockwise direction then uh, then anti-clockwise whole thing takes about 10 or 15 minutes and it's uh, and that's it done you're done for the day um 20 sessions of that and apparently i'm going to be fixed so that's what the treatment entails so there you go it's um it's nothing at all to be concerned about you just literally as i say most of this involves laying on a bench and once you've got that biopsy thing out of the way which that's the lowest point of the journey and it's it's not particularly uh pleasant but it's it's bearable and then it's over and done with and you don't have to worry about it anymore you know um i want to say at this point a massive massive thank you to um all of the staff at james cook university hospital in middlesbrough and at tees valley hospital in uh middlesbrough as well who uh that's where i, I met the um mr chaplin the urologist uh but especially the uh, the radiologists and the whole team at uh, james cook university hospital they couldn't have been more professional more caring more friendly you know um they are just absolutely golden and i can't praise them highly enough and they they di they did that thing which um you know is probably the most valuable thing that that, that could do they took the, the scariness out of the whole situation and you know um just i want to say as i say a massive massive thank you to each and every one of them because um they've been absolutely brilliant yeah um thank you guys so much so there you go folks that is the story of what i've been going through and hopefully if you are a chap and your age begins with a number five even if you don't have symptoms um you know where you're struggling to pass water or anything like that even if that's you know you don't have any issues like that it is worthwhile going to your gp and getting this this thing checked out and asking for this uh psa blood test because you know it's better to get it nipped in the bud like i have than to wait until you know things could be a lot more serious further down the further down the road please go and get yourselves checked out it is it it is worth it just for the peace of mind and that is the video for today folks hope you found it in some way useful and if you have please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and please give me a like while you're at it don't forget the live stream every friday 5 p.m uk time where we drink beer and talk about music and guitars and whatever else may crop up it is a fantastic way to kick off the weekend and i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now